Welcome to episode 33 of our Comfy UI tutorial series. Today, I'll show you how to convert your text into an audio voiceover file using AI all locally on your computer with Comfy UI for free. If you don't have Comfy UI installed, check episode one first. I will use a node called Comfy UI Kokoro. They have some installation steps on their page, but I had some trouble installing certain dependencies. I'll show you what I did to make it work for me. First, go to your Comfy UI folder, then look for the custom nodes folder. Once you're inside that folder, go to the top address bar, type CMD and press enter. This will open a command window that already shows the path to the folder. Then paste this command. I'll put it in the description and also on Discord along with all the, the links and resources. The command is git clone followed by the link to the node. Once you press enter, it will install the node. If I close this, you can see that the node is installed here, but I needed to do a few extra steps to make it work. Um, first, I went to this website where we need to uh, install these dependencies. I encountered an error when trying to install automatically, so I installed them manually. I took the latest version from January 31st. If I click on plus, I get a link to that and I can click on it to save it in the same custom nodes folder. I navigated to that folder and saved it. Um, I already had it, which is why it added that extra number one to the file, but the file name should look like this. Now, if I go to the custom notes folder, you can see the file there. We need to install it. Go again to the address bar, type CMD and press enter. Now you need to use this command to install it. The command will navigate to your embedded Python folder and install that exact file. If you downloaded a different wheel file, make sure to put the correct file name there. Now I can use this command to check if it installed it. You can see that it appears here. That was the issue um, preventing me from installing the, the dependencies I needed. Now I can use this command to install all the requirements. It's this text file from here that we run. When I run this command, it will try to install everything it needs. Let it finish uh, installing. Now we can start Comfy UI. Once it starts, go to the manager, then to the custom nodes manager, check installed and search for Kokoro. It should look like this. If it says unable to install or cannot find it, you may still have some dependency issues and you might need a different wheel for your version of Python. Okay, now we're all set and ready to build the workflow. Double click on the canvas, search for Kokoro, and let's add the speaker node. This node allows you to select different voices from a list. You can filter them at the top where it says filter list or just scroll and select your favorite. The first letter I think indicates the language A for American, B for British, and so on. Voices with an M in their name are male, and those with an F are female. Then you'll see the character names like Michael, Alice, and so on. Next, we search for the second node, which has generator in its name. This will allow us to input the text we want to generate for that voice. Simply connect the speaker input and output. Then we need another node called save audio to save and preview the voice. Now you can run the workflow. It's very simple. I wish all workflows were this easy. The first time you run it, it will download the model. It needs to run the Kokoro V1 model. If for some reason it can't download, make sure you've activated long path support in Windows so it can still download if the path is too long. Once the model finishes downloading, it will start downloading each voice. And at the end, it will create the voices bin file. Only then will it execute the prompt. This only happens the first time. Now we have our first audio generated. From these three dots, you can download it to a different folder than the default output or change the playback speed, the preview speed. You can also play it from this button. I am a synthesized robot. As you can see, it used the Jessica voice to read the text, I am a synthesized robot. Let's pick another voice like Liam, modify the text and run the workflow again. As you can see, it's pretty fast. Only took around two seconds on my computer. I am a synthesized robot. Do you like my voice? I am a synthesized robot. Do you like my voice? I am a synthesized robot. Do you like my voice? 
You can change the speed of the audio from here. For example, you can reduce it to 0.8 to make it slower. I am a synthesized robot. Do you like my voice? I'm a synthesized robot. Do you like my voice? Let me show you what else you can do. I have two workflows here, one for the voice heart and one for the voice core. Here's how each sounds. I am a synthesized robot. I am a synthesized robot. And the cool thing we can do is use both voices, then add the speaker combiner node, followed by the generator node to generate the audio, and then the save node. Here, we have the wait. If it's set to one, it means it will only use the first voice. Let me show you. I am a synthesized robot. I am a synthesized robot. If I change the value to zero, it will use only the second voice. I am a synthesized robot. I am a synthesized robot. Um, so any values we use between zero and one will combine those two voices in those percentages. I am a synthesized robot. 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 On this page, you can find more information about the voices. There are a few in different languages. And as you can see, they mention that if the sentences are too short or the number of words is too large, the performance might not be as good. So around 75, 150 words, it performs well, and it can be okay up to 300 words. You also have some information about training for each voice. So I assume the more training, the better it will sound. You can see the overall grade for each voice. So you can get an idea of how good each voice is from this list. The best ones seem to be the American voices and the others are less refined for other languages. Let's take an example of one that has been trained for more than 10 hours like this one. You can see the name Bella, A for American, F for female, and Bella is the name. I can add it here in the speaker name and run the workflow. And it sounds like this. Hi, I'm Bella, and I can't stop smiling. This is everything I've ever wanted, and it's finally happening. I've worked so hard for this moment, and now that it's real, I feel like I'm floating. The audio is saved in the output folder, and in the audio folder, you can see all the generations. There are these FLAC files that also have the workflow incorporated into them, just like images have the workflow embedded. You can simply drag the audio file into Comfy UI and it will load that workflow. Hi, I'm Bella and I can't stop smiling. Hey, I'm Michael and this is insane. I knew today was gonna be good, but this, this is next level. Let me try it in a different language. I can search for a French voice like this beta voice. And for the language, I selected French from the list. I also added some text in French, which I use ChatGPT for. After running the workflow, the result is this. Salut, moi c'est Alpha. Comment ça va? J'espère que tu passes une bonne journée. Kimi ni na sete uzeshiyo, kyo udo. So, the voices are not bad, but they still lack some tone variation and emotion compared to paid platforms. Let me show you what I mean. I'm using this voice that has a high score and I made some text with ChatGPT that should challenge the system to produce some tone variation. Here's how it sounds. Once upon a time, a robot named Pixa gazed at the stars, asking, can I ever feel the warmth of the sun? Ah, the wind blew softly through the city, making Pixa ask, is this what it's like to dream? Then, with a broken voice, Pixa whispered, but I'll never know. Sniffle, sob, then, with a burst of frustration, Pixa shouted, why can't I feel anything? Rag. Did you notice how the tone remained constant with no variation? And if I generate again, nothing changes. I can't generate multiple seeds to get different variations of it. I will always get the same tone. I can change the prompt and modify the words, but the tone will stay the same. Now let's compare this with a platform like Eleven Labs, which I use to generate my voices. For example, with the voice of David, using the same text as in the previous example, Notice how the tone changes depending on the context. Also, each time I hit generate, I'll get a different tone variation of the same text, making it much more useful. Just listen. Once upon a time, a robot named Pixa gazed at the stars, asking, Can I ever feel the warmth of the sun? 
Ah, the wind blew softly through the city, making Pixa ask, Is this what it's like to dream? Then with a broken voice, Pixa whispered, But I'll never know. Sniffle, sob. Then, with a burst of frustration, Pixa shouted, Why can't I feel anything? Ra! So, as you can see, the voice has more emotion, and the tone changes depending on the context. Let's hope we get better free models in the future. Here are a few more examples with voices from Eleven Labs, so you can get an idea of what you can do when you adjust the text. A man laughing hysterically. Ha 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 ha! Oh my goodness, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Ha 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 ha! A man growling in anger. You have no idea what you've done to me. A woman speaking romantically with a dramatic pause. You are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, and I'll love you forever. A man stammering in fear. Wh what wh was that? Did you, you see the, that thing? I, it's c coming this way. A man speaking with a confused voice. Huh? Wait, what's going on? I don't get it. I'll tell you what's going on. The free models we have are getting better each day but they're still not quite at the level of the paid ones. The advantage is that they're free with Comfy UI, and the disadvantage is that they're not as good as the paid models yet, but I'm sure we'll get there, and that's the end of the episode. I want to thank the Legends for their continuous support. You can also join the membership if you want to support this channel. Thanks to the VIP and other members, and uh, special thanks to some members I haven't mentioned before, but they do a great job on Discord helping others with different problems. So thank you, Evo, and all the other heroes who help the community. If you found something useful, leave a like and a comment. Thank you, and I'll see you on Discord.